Good afternoon everyone. It is Friday afternoon and we are going to be spreading a little bit of slurry. Uh, 6 9 is here with the Red Rock slurry tanker. Uh, we've got six acres of slurry today. Uh, this is grazing ground here. Uh, it's quite a nice square field. Uh, there's this one here and then there's a smaller one then. There's about four acres in this one and there's a smaller two or just maybe two and a half acre field then at the front of this. So both fields will be slurried now today. Uh, this field was sprayed last week for ducks and you can see they are dying off uh, that's the way you want to see them uh, as soon as the cows came off it we sprayed it straight away and uh, yeah a uh, fairly good kill rate by the looks of it this was sprayed with four front so yeah you can see there they are all dying off which is exactly what you want to want to see uh, i did use four front on this because some of these were a little bit stronger than what i would like uh, a lot of times i use horlo but you can see here's some of the strong ones here uh, and they're a little bit slower to bend over yeah they're some of them are still standing up a little bit but dying at the same time so uh, yeah that's hence why I used the forefront on this uh, it's actually the only place I've used forefront so far this year everywhere else has been horlo and I've had a very uh, good successful kill rate with the horlo as well on docks so just before we get going at the slurry a uh, big happy birthday to uh, Mr Owen Doherty uh, Owen is from Clonmelon, County Mead. Owen turned 11 yesterday, uh, which was the 7th of May. Uh, unfortunately, I hadn't got a video up yesterday, Owen, so I couldn't wish you happy birthday yesterday. But uh, it's a little bit late, but happy birthday nevertheless. I uh, hope you had a good day. Uh, I heard that you got uh, some nice calves over the last number of weeks and some chickens. So best of luck with that, yeah, your first venture into farming. And uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to maybe hearing some more about that in the future. Uh, so best of luck with that too. So happy birthday Owen and uh, uh, thanks very much for all the support and being such a big fan of the channel. So let's get going with this, let's get some slurry spread. So we're just leaving now the yard where the slurry is. Uh, we haven't got that awfully far to travel. Uh, this is, uh, as I said earlier, one of the plots where, uh, oh, where our cows and calves are grazing. So yeah, fairly close by to where the tank is. Uh, this is load number three that uh, we are heading down with now. Uh, roads are still relatively quiet-ish sometimes uh, with the lockdown and all that is going on uh, the slurry we're putting out is it's uh, on the out farm where the cows last last winter so uh, yeah we kind of mixed it uh, a few days ago uh, it's quite it's probably slightly on the tick side uh, but it's nice enough for, for the job we're doing 
I'm um, traveling in a probably a little bit higher gear than normal because I don't want putting it on too too heavy because uh, we don't know what the weather is going to do for the minute. Uh, still haven't had very much in the lines of rain um, so you're kind of relying on on the dew at night to, to kind of break down or to, to wash in to wash in any slurry or fertilizer at the moment. Uh, we've had very little rain, a little bit of rain last week but nothing worth talking about, not nearly enough. Uh, we seem to be missing all that rain that was coming across or that the rest of the country was getting. We just seem to be missing it here in the northeast. But yeah, it's just the way it is. Uh, so yeah, uh, as I say, putting it on fairly light in this field. Uh, like we have two loads on it now. Uh, less than a half a load will do uh, to finish it off. Um, reason being is that the cows were off this field slightly earlier than the, the first one on the way in. Uh, we grazed them separately and uh, the grass is coming on on it so I don't want just don't want putting it on too heavy that the grass uh, is going to have a, a coating of heavy slurry on it and it, it, it might curtail the growing of it so that's kind of the thinking behind that now, slurry tanker is working well uh, yeah she's a real walk horse this tanker she has given no trouble whatsoever. The only issue we had was we had a busted tire on it last year. That's the first trouble that we've ever had with it. Um, but yeah, great tanko. So we'll just build up some pressure and we'll get going. So just as I finished this first field, I've uh, just stopped. You can see cows and calves are grazing in the field next door. They're all well relaxed, uh, chilling out at the minute, enjoying the sunshine. Uh, it's around three acres in this top paddock up, top half of the field that they're in at the minute. And uh, they're going well with it. They've it well eaten down. I'd say by probably ready for a move from here, either um, I'd say Sunday, maybe even Monday. We might get till Monday out of it. We'll get them to graze it down as tight as they can uh, and then they're moving on down the bottom side of this field and down below uh, there's another uh, there's another four and a half acres down there so um yeah they can they can move to there and, and get it eaten next uh, but yeah grazing well and doing well uh, i will do in the coming week uh, a more elaborate uh, check on all the cows and calves uh, we'll we'll get the drone up and get a bit of footage of both batches and uh, just have a little walk around them and checking them and, and have a talk about how they're doing so that'll be in the next week or so so let's keep going with the slurry and get the slurry in. so we are in field number one now as we call it down here it's the first field in off the road uh, there is a wet area now down the bottom of this field so we're going to just have a little look at it uh, we've rented this land for about 20 years roughly and in that 20 year period we have been able to drive in this area once uh, which was two years ago during that really hot dry summer uh, it dried sufficiently that you could get right in along the side now we're going to see what it's like uh, this is the worst area so we're just going to go straight in there and see what happens now hopefully I don't get stuck because if you remember back a number of months ago uh, I got stuck just right across, there's a road here that divides the two fields, just right across the road in the same area uh, I got stuck. First time I got stuck in about 15 years I think, or maybe more. Uh, so <laughs> we don't want to make it twice in the one year at this stage. Uh, we want to go another 15 years ago uh, again before we get stuck. So uh, say a little prayer for me there and hopefully this goes okay. Uh, we're just going to ease into it here now a little bit slowly and see what it's like. Uh, so we've been in through now, they're really what is the worst part of it. Well, not too bad, it's a little bit soft, a little bit soft, but yeah, nothing that, nothing that you can't handle. 
So it's not just as dry as a couple of years ago in the hot summer when we last could drive through it, uh, but it's not far off. It stays dry for another week or two, I think that it will equal that time, which is, which is quite the feat. So, yeah, we're gonna get some slurry spread in here for once. So let's keep going. So that is us finished on the slurrying front heel. A lovely coat of slurry now in this field and the last field. Uh, yeah, all we need now is those dark clouds that we have overhead to drop a little bit of precipitation down on us. And uh, yeah, we just perfectly timed. We just get it washed in and uh, get the, keep the grass growing because uh, we, we are afraid that we may run out of grass. Um, just before we go, I see a head poking through a ditch over here. Let's go over and just see what's going on. Now oh, she's moving off now. Just as I was talking, I seen her sticking her head through. <laughs> she doesn't see me. Or in a calf here. They're eating they're eating some of the the leaves off the, the bushes here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're caught in the act. Anyway, that's it. So Hope you enjoyed this video, just a little bit of a story and video, uh, just documenting what I'm at today or what's going on. Uh, we will have another video up in the next few days. It will be of the Kubota versus the John Deere. I've been trying to get that finished up for the last number of weeks, just having the time to get it edited and get it all put together. Uh, done a bit at it in the last few days and yeah, it's almost finished. So. That may be up tomorrow, be either up tomorrow or on Sunday, so look forward to that. Uh, yeah, maybe not the result that everybody could be thinking that there might be. We'll see. I'm not gonna let too much, not gonna say too much about it. You'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, don't forget to hit the sub button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you in the next couple of days. Take care.